hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just gonna be vlogging i have so many packages to unpack today so i figured i would just do like a sit down pr unboxing with you guys i'm gonna do that i also have to film a target haul today uh so i might include a few clips from that just for fun so you guys can kind of see um, a little background of that although i think my target haul is probably already live so that's what my day looks like and then later on today i have alterations for a bridesmaid's dress for meg's wedding um it's the bride that i went to charleston with for her bachelorette so i have to get my dress altered and ready to go because she gets married so soon first i'm going to unbox my every plate i just got this in the mail our meals for the week thank goodness because i no longer plan meals period between my mom being here um off and on and just not being a great meal planner to begin with i'm not planning meals so thank goodness for every plate and just keeping me covered at least during the week and the weeknights with dinners so that i actually cook and feed myself nice food instead of eating the kids leftovers every plate is a meal subscription if you are not familiar so they are by far the most affordable meal subscription that we have tried yet and i haven't seen any that even compare in price. The food is really good. They have a wide selection of meals every single week. They change every week, so you have the opportunity to try new meals. So let's see what I got this week. They are always so kind in giving me a really hefty discount code. So I'll put it here on the screen with all of the details. Okay, the first meal that we got is this chicken sausage tomato soup. This looks delicious. My mom and I are like soup gals. We love soup if i could eat soup at least once a day i would be so happy um and i love making a soup and like keeping it in the fridge so this one looks like it's going to be so yummy and it's definitely getting cold around here we live in maine and it's definitely getting chilly it feels like fall for sure and a soup just sounds really good pork sausage stuffed peppers i love stuffed peppers so by the way the ones that i get are usually white meat so they're usually chicken pork or turkey um, or vegetarian, which they also have options for, but they do have red meat options too. They have plenty actually. The last one, I don't believe I've tried this one. This is the crispy black bean burritos. These look so delish. Um, so also when you pick out a meal like this, like this one obviously doesn't have meat in it, you can get it just like this, or you can do like an add-on of like chicken or something it always prompts you to the next page and you do have an option to add on to your box so if you wanted to like add in chicken to these you absolutely could and you could get it right in your box so the way they ship everything they ship it really nice in like good packaging with um some really large ice packs i think they do a really good job with their packaging but it comes in this little box which I just throw this right in the refrigerator, just like this, shoop. And then every night I pull it out and I'm like, grab out all my ingredients, like I'm grocery shopping and put it back in the fridge, it's the best. And then they always put your meat in between these really large ice packs, which like I said, you can save them if you use ice packs like this. Tomatoes, little Roma tomatoes, these are Roma tomatoes, right? Green pepper. Uh, rice cheese why is the exposure so off we turn it down a little bit and the good thing too and the very convenient part of this is no food goes to waste and they send you like only what you need so everything's already pre-measured out all the way down to like your t like tomato paste or sometimes it's condiments seasonings so it's just very very convenient if you are busy or you don't like to plan meals or you're just looking to catch a break every uh week or so this is a good way to do that. I'll put all of the info um, at the top of the description bar and I'll also cook one of these meals tonight with you guys. So I'm not sure which one we will feel like, but I will discuss that with my mom and figure out which one we're gonna make. I feel very intimidated by the fact that I'm gonna try to film a Target try on, but also film a PR unboxing because I feel like that's a lot of talking and I'm gonna be ready for a nap at the end of that. I don't know if that's gonna be a good life choice, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway. My dress, by the way, is from Target. So cute, it also comes in plaid, which I love the plaid one too, but I already have like a plaid mini dress, so I can justify getting that one. Yeah, so cute, I love this print though. It's got like a little square neck, smocked back, so it's nice and comfortable, big balloon sleeves. 
It's kind of that like little house on the prairie vibe that people make fun of in like a funny way. I'm into that look a little bit, so. I just got done filming my Target haul. Oh, it's too many pieces, too many items. I actually skipped like one or two because I'm like, it's just too much. I gotta prioritize the good, really good ones and everything was really good. But um, I'm gonna make myself a little ice water and then I'm gonna go sit down, open all my PR stuff. I have about a half hour until I need to grab my stuff and head over to um, my seamstress. <laughs> I knew I was going to be brain dead after filming that try on haul. That's just for whatever reason. That's what happens between filming the try on haul itself and talking about every single item, how it fits, how it feels, how it looks. Da, 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 da. And then I have to photograph each piece. And then I like to make a reel as well. So then I'm like filming a separate video for the reel. And it's a lot. And then also vlogging today, probably. Like I said, it's probably just too much. But. Let's make an ice water and go sit down and unbox some stuff. Maybe that will revive me. Speaking of things I wanted to share, this ice machine is amazing. Actually, whoops, not on. There's a good example of the sound in case you're wondering what it sounds like. Um, it's just kind of like a little bit of white noise. It doesn't run like that all the time though, right? Mom, that's only if it's making- No, it just blows once in a while. Like it's like it, it dumps and then it kind of takes a break and then it- Yeah. Starts. It's not like crazy loud the whole time. Yeah, but I know that I had shared the other ice maker with you guys that we had gotten and I loved it, but I really wanted a nugget ice maker. So mom took the other one to camp because she had been wanting a new ice maker at camp and she loved it because she had used it here. So it gave me the excuse to get the nugget one. Obsessed guys, it's literally so good and if you like I know it's not good for your teeth But if you like to chew on ice like snack on it or if you're pregnant and that's your thing This is well worth the $500. Um, I don't know I it's very expensive and it's very extra But I know this is something that we'll use in our house as well Like I we use this multiple times a day I prefer this ice over any kind of ice and if you put it in a cup I put it in my Stanley like a thermal like this that's gonna keep it the ice keeps your drink so cold because your drink falls in between all the little pieces of ice and it's just a new level of cold a, truly a new level of cold so um did i like not blend my bronzer very well i have like a sharp line going on there i think it's just the shadow of my hair um anyway let's fill up my tumbler and go sit down it's really easy too you just like pour water in the ice maker and Within like a half hour, you have a full thing of ice. I feel like I might even squeeze a little bit of lemon in it or something. I'm squeezing a half a lime in here because I want some something, something, something. Let's jump right into this. So this is all PR stuff that I've gotten in the past like two weeks. Usually I just kind of unbox it as it comes, but I was like, I'll just hold off and share it all in a vlog. So if you guys like this, if you like seeing like PR unboxings, I personally love watching them. There's something about just watching somebody open a package in general <laughs> um, that I love. So yeah, if you guys enjoy it, let me know. I'll include these in more vlogs. It's nice for me because I kind of get a bunch of like PR shares out all at once and I don't forget anything or I don't have to schedule them all like crazy separate. I'll just put this down here because that's obnoxious. Well, let's start off with these because I feel like this is like a totally different genre than everything else. These are called Bedtime Defenders. So we were sent these, one for each of the kids, and I think these are so funny. They are supposed to like protect you um, in your sleep and while you're sleeping. So it says fight at night so you can sleep tight. They have little, um, let's open them. They have little glow in the dark belts. So I know the kids are gonna love these. Like this is not necessarily something I would normally pick out for them, but there's like, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's less about the aesthetic and more about like, I can, the kids are gonna be obsessed with these and I'll give them to them tonight so you guys can see them um, open them. But they've got these cute little like slap bracelets on them. And then yeah, a little glow in the dark belt. So this one I'm gonna give to Ellie, the green one with the little like pink and purple mask. So this is Bruno. It says ages three plus, by the way. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this one to Knox. And he has been like fear of the dark, trouble sleeping, going to bed lately. So hopefully this actually helps. I think it might actually feel, make him feel better. Okay, next I'm going to open up my boxy charms. So this is just the regular box. Boxy charm is like $25 a month. All of this was sent to me, by the way. Just as a disclaimer, all of this. When I say PR and boxing, these items were sent to me. Um, so I'm not being paid to like mention them, but all these items were gifted. So let's just dig right into this BoxyCharm box. There are different levels of BoxyCharm that you can get. So they also sent me the Lux box, which generally has a little bit more skincare in it and more items, so it's a higher value. Um, but these are high value. I think these are the regular boxes, like around $200 value. And you get it for like 25 bucks. So the first thing in here I see is the Bamboo Bronzer by Siete London. And I love this brand. I've used this brand multiple times before. So I'm anticipating probably, yes, pretty. It kind of has some like gold specks in it. It's a really nice neutral toned bronzer. And I love the packaging. Cute, cute. Also in here I see the Vintage by Jessica Libeskind. I don't know how to say that. Sparkling lip gloss. Yes, I'm all about the lip gloss lately. I don't know what my deal is. All about the gloss. I think it's just trending right now. This is in pink sequin. Ooh. I love this color. Let's put some on. I feel like it's going to blend with what I have. Don't love the brush applicator. I prefer a doe foot, but... Ooh. That's really pretty. I feel like it's very um, reflective. It's got like a really fine glitter in it. This is the Bossy Beauty uh, Lip Liner Duo in Latte and Cocoa. I wonder, I might already have this. Anything I like already have or I don't think I'll use, I just end up giving as a gift. I think I, oh, I'm not sure. I might already have this, but it's a really nice like lip duo. I know that I like this brand though. I've definitely um, tried their lip pencils before and they're really good nice and smooth and they last a long time next thing in here is the wander beauty on the glow blush and illuminator duo i love this i'm actually wearing it today um i don't i think this is a different color though so let's see it's in the color bear for the blush and nude glow so i have nude glow on right now as my highlighter it's stunning i've used it all the way down to the point where i can't even twist mine up anymore i'm actually like digging down to apply it so I'm glad I have a new one. And then I think this is a little bit of a different color than the one I have on. The one I have on is a little bit more berry and this is more of like a mauve color. Stunning though. I love the formulation of these. They're so smooth and I love that it's all in one product. Absolutely love it. So skin light, so easy to blend and you can literally just like swipe it on and then pat it out with a brush or a beauty blender and it doesn't move the makeup underneath, anything like that. Love these. I know I need to stay not long winded while I'm talking about this because I have so much to unbox. Um, next thing in here is the Ace Beauty Violet Sage uh, eyeshadow palette, I'm guessing. Ooh, very pretty. It's definitely violet and sage. It's got some greens over here, then it's mostly pinks and purples. Really pretty though, if you like kind of colorful eyeshadow palettes. So that's everything that I got in the regular box. It's five full-size products every month by the way. I've gotten a Lux box before and it is incredible, like incredible. So the first thing I see in here is this Bright Bio Brightening Eye Patches. I love brightening eye patches. I literally use these almost every single morning because I wake up so puffy. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm just, I'm demolishing this box because I want to see what they look like. Yeah, it comes with two in a pack and you get quite a few in here so i will definitely use those next thing we got in here is the spun gel honey blossom beyond cleansing body wash infused buffer i've used these before they are amazing they're very unique like i've literally only used them by this brand and i really love them so it's like this sponge that once you get wet kind of softens and it's infused with your body wash that smells so good it reminds me of my aunt for some reason the honey um, Belinda, if you're watching this, this smells like you. That's so weird. Next thing in here is the Pat McGrath Labs um, Eye Dolls Eyeshadow Ombre and something in the language, I don't know. But 
like an eyeshadow and then it has a bunch of sequins and stuff so i wonder if i don't know that's like fun packaging though next thing in here is the make serum balm what is that now yeah, what is this <gasps> Oh my gosh, I literally went into Sephora the other day and I wanted like a poppy pinky um, gloss like this that just like smelt nice. I wanted it super fruity. This isn't so much fruity. There's like really not much of a scent to it at all. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting a little gloss like this, but they're like all sold out because it's so popular. Like the um, Fenty Cherry Bomb is sold out. The other one I wanted was sold out. So, ooh, ooh. Wowie. Yum. Next thing in here is the Ren Skincare Evercom Redness Relief Serum. That sounds very intriguing. Comes in this really nice glass packaging and it says use AM and PM gently press with fingertips onto cleansed face, apply as needed. So Huh, I'll have to give that a go. Any of the products that I try, um, I usually try to like share on Instagram if I really love them. I'll post them on my story and stuff. So if you guys don't follow me over there and you wanna see updates on any of these products, um, you'll see them over there if I love them. The next thing in here is the, the Ola Henriksen, I can never say that, Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Brightening Gel Cream, that's like right up my alley. This looks lovely, it's like a jelly consistency i'm really excited to try that i love trying new moisturizers and then also in here i see this queen studio i don't know what this is oh a lip duo another lip duo this one looks fun it's kind of like a darker color with a poppy kind of color really pretty and lastly in here i see a natasha denona eyeshadow palette i love natasha denona um, this palette feels really nice and heavy. Oh my gosh. It's got like this matte burgundy bottom and then look at the top. Oh, that is so beautiful. Um, it's pretty. It's kind of like a variety of colors, honestly. I do see some that I would use, but again, not a palette I would probably use on a daily basis. I'd be a lot more likely to use like this kind of the side of the palette. Uh, I don't know how much I dip into over here, but Again, it might be kind of fun to play around with more colors. I've definitely gotten more colors in my wardrobe lately, in my my closet. So um, I'm open to like fun liner colors and things like that, which I usually do with a shadow anyway, because I like it to be like a softer look. But that is what we got in the Lux box. I will put a link down below for you guys and any coupon codes or anything I have, I will like put with the link of the item. Um, something else I want to share with you guys was sent to me from an Amazon seller. This is by the brand Atomic, At Atom Tech, Atom Tech. Uh, this I brought, this is not what it looks like. This is, this is not what it looks like. Okay. Where's the button? This is a tripod, but it's like a selfie stick tripod and it stretches really, really far out and it's like a Bluetooth one. So look, look how long is this guy's. So you can stand it like a tripod or you can close it, use it as a selfie stick, hold your phone super tight and snug in here. Like you are not going to drop your phone. If you put it in correctly, it holds your phone really well. And then it's got a Bluetooth button and it's so convenient. I brought this on our trip to Charleston for the Bachelorette and we used this a handful of times. It was really convenient and kind of fun to use. It was my first time using it. So it was kind of like a trial run, but yeah, again, it was really nice to have and it folds up really nice and compact, but I love that it's also a tripod because that's something I would use like more on a daily basis. Okay, next I got this box from Clinical Skin and can we just talk about the packaging? It looks so nice and chic. So let's open this up. Wow, packaging is like really, really nice. All right, first thing in here that I see is the Polypeptide Firming Serum. Sounds really nice. This packaging, it just looks luxurious. I don't even know how much the skincare costs, but wow. Next in here, I see the Vitamin C Pro Collagen Serum. Ooh, ooh, that smells really fresh, like fresh oranges, honestly. I didn't expect that, I don't know why. I just thought it would smell like nothing. Um, this one's really nice. And then the last thing in here that I see is this Massage Beauty Roller. Ooh. 
Oh. This is fun. It's like two, two little disco balls on there. Oh my gosh, so you just roll your face. They roll. Oh, I'm gonna have to read. They send like a little how-to. I'm gonna have to read how to use that, but that looks like it's gonna feel really nice. Next thing that was sent to me is from the company Notes, and it's a candle refill system. So I did peek at this the other day because the package smells so good. I'm like, what is in there? So what you do is you get this little candle glass and it says candle glass silicone clean out disc and then in these packages you get a cotton wick and the fragrance so you get the glass this little clean out thing which helps you clean out the wax once it's all melted and then you don't have to repurchase this you just purchase like it one time or however many of these that you want um, around your house and then in here you get your candle wax they're like little wax beads and you get your wick so they sent me the linen and crisp air, which smells like clean laundry. This literally smells so good. And it's not like overly perfumey or anything. It's just a very fresh, clean scent. But I also do feel like it's one of those candles that you could probably just set out without even lighting and you're gonna get scent from it. Then the other one they sent is the Santal and Atlas Cedar. This also smells amazing. Perfect for fall, like a really warm, cozy scent. So also on the packaging, I noticed that these candles are 100% natural wax, soy, rice brand, and beeswax, non-toxic fragrance, safe for people and planet, and then contains no parabens, dyes, or petroleum wax. So I know that's really hard to find candles that are like okay and decent for you to burn in your house. So I love the whole concept of this. And I love that you just have these little simple jars and you just repurchase these and you can kind of refill your candles as needed. I do have to go. I'm going to have to finish this unboxing later. So I got to go grab a snack and go hop in the car. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Are you posing? You look like the Grinch with that little face. You're so cute. That's taking a video. Look. Mama, I'll go. What? Who's that handsome guy? Don't be flinging cheese around the what? kitchen. That, that following me. Why is it following me? Following you? Yeah. Why is it following me? <laughs> Why is it? So, Chef Knox, tell us what you're cooking. Uh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Where's the mac and cheese at? Have you stirred it since it started boiling? Yep. Oh, nice. Um, what do you have here behind you that you're cooking, Chef Knox? Uh, I'm not cooking it. <laughs> so what is it? What do we have here? Point to each thing and tell me what it is. What are these? Cucumbers. Cucumbers? Clearly we don't eat many vegetables, do we? That's not a cucumber. What kind of... I'll give you your spoon back. Hang on a second. What kind of vegetable is that? No. Green peppers. I have green we don't. Peppers. I don't want you flinging this around. I won't. You are though, without I even won't. thinking about it. Green peppers. Okay. What's the white chopped vegetable? Uh, I don't know. Onion. I have onion. Onion. <laughs> and what else is over there? And What's in that bag? What is that? Couscous. Oh. What's in there? Cheese. Cheese? I know that one. So, what are you making? Uh, stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers? Yeah. Wow. That sounds good. I can't wait to try it. Oh. Stir, stir. Alright, so we decided to do... Beef pork sausage stuffed peppers tonight. Slow down, slow down. Don't lick it right away and it's gonna drip and it's gonna be hot. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check on our customers at the restaurant. Okay. I'll let them know their meals are cooking. Hi ladies. How's it going over here? How are the appetizers? What are you what are you drinking, Ellie? How are the appetizers? Is it good? Is there anything I can get you right now? Mm -mm. No, you happy? 
No. Say, we'll be good for a few minutes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Do you want to show them your outfit? No. Show them your little no. dress. The blue one that matches your eyes. PD girl, did you, did you. PD girl, did you, do, do, do. All right. So, we've got the peppers. We're going to. So we cooked the couscous, Mom, you said, yeah, and the pork sausage. Yeah, with the onions. Yeah, oh, with the sauteed onions, and then you stuff the peppers. So, whoo, is that hot? Did you burn yourself? <laughs> yeah, be careful. There's nothing worse than burning your tongue. So we're going to cook the peppers in a cast iron and then throw them in the oven. They can be so good. Say well, no. welcome to our show. No, welcome to our show. I do not like it. Here. Thanks. You're welcome. Ellie, I love your hair today. It really looks cute. Actually. I know. Exactly. Like koala, yeah. She looks like a koala. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I would think. You You're a koala. koala. That's what I yeah. told yeah. you this morning. Yeah, the one koala. Ooh. What's a koala say? Anything? They say woo. Woo woo, koala. Who got a lot of them? Who koala bear? My auntie says I'm a koala. Not. You're what? My auntie says that that show. My mama a lot of water. A lot of Gonna finish that show? Oh yeah, I'd love to watch that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't put me just the booty. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you do. It's okay. Yeah, I got it for you. Inside my palms, play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. You know I'm addicted to you, and it's twisted. You've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh. Everything is like a test. I better not test. Here are the stuffed peppers. Look how much food this is. I feel like that's a lot of food. It looks so good. And I'm so hungry. I'm gonna do a little taste test with you guys. I feel like I'm trying to get a little bit of everything on my fork. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of spice from the chicken sausage or the pork sausage, whatever that was. Um, like a teeny tiny bit of spice from the sausage and then the pepper is almost sweet in comparison to everything else. And the couscous is like hearty and yummy and then the cheese is cheese, uh oh. Um, yeah, this is delicious. I swear I would not eat if my mom wasn't here. <laughs> Actually, I can confirm that the half the week or whatever that she's not here, I don't eat. Mm. This is so freaking delicious. All right, guys, I love to set the kids' chairs up and let them watch a show before we brush our teeth and all that and get ready for bed. So I put their little bedtime defenders and they haven't seen them yet. What do you think? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in just a minute. 
Those are called bedtime defenders. They protect you while you sleep. What do you think? Superman and a Superman! <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you haven't heard me talk about Love Ever yet, these are literally the best toys. Knox and I have been playing with these every night after we put Ellie to bed. Um, this is one that he got. I forget which box it came in, but they recently sent us a new box. We've been playing with those toys as well. I'll show you guys a couple things that came in it. But this is just so cute. Um, one of his boxes came with a little camper and some people and like sleeping bags and stuff. This is like a little tent. And look, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that that part and then um this is like a little wooden house comes with a bed and some people and, and, another and, door. and it has a garage door yeah um and it, has a slide. it has a little slide the toy that we were playing with last night that i posted on instagram was this yeah. one um, this was fun wasn't it bud yeah you like match up you design the boat so you match up the flag with the person yeah. make sure yeah. your colors are right yeah. and you line them up in the water so so cute but they're a toy subscription box and they send you um a box like for your Mama, child's I'm age not, anymore. not feeling scared honey no, but... you got your defender <sighs> i've come back to finish my pr unboxing um i can change the exposure okay so i'm gonna finish my unboxing and then I'm going to call it a night. But I had some really good products that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so I wanted to make sure I included them in this video. So um, I'm going to save the best for last. Something that I've really been wanting to talk to you guys about. One of the other PR boxes that I got this month was from Paula's Choice. I love Paula's Choice. It's like one of my favorite skincare lines. I really love their exfoliant um, toner. That's like my favorite. It's a holy grail for me. And they sent over this hydration meat 5% vitamin C. So this is their C5 Super Boost eye cream. So excited to try this. And then this is their C5 Super Boost moisturizer with 5% vitamin C and hexapeptide 5. Never even heard of that, but I really trust their products, their brand. I've used so many of their products. Um, and I always end up really liking them and getting good results. So, of Paula's Choice, excited to try these. And then another package we received is from Moody Tiger. So, this is a um, company that makes kids clothes, but they're like luxury, um, like, it's like luxury athleisure wear is kind of what I, I guess I would describe it as. And the quality of their stuff is like above and beyond. It's just so above and beyond. So, they sent Knox a few outfits because he just started soccer. Uh, which he absolutely loves and he, they sent over a few outfits. They sent over this little wind jacket. This is one of the items. This is like a stretchy wind jacket with different um, like fabrics on it. This is more of like a wind material and then this is like a stretchy dream fabric. I don't even know what it is but how stinking cute is this? Something else they sent over this. I was like shook. The fabric of this little zip like throw over, I don't want to call it a sweatshirt. It's like this stretchy, yummy, buttery, perfect for the fall fabric. He also sent this little sweatshirt, which this is like almost like a waffle, kind of like fuzzy material. It's so cute though, look at the hood. It kind of comes up to like a mock neck in the front and it scoops down in the front, kind of comes up on the sides. Again, the quality is just incredible. So they sent these little joggers. These are so stinking cute. I would say like, in my opinion, I think they run a little bit big because I think these are even like long, but oh my gosh, again, the quality, I'm not gonna keep saying it because it just, I can hear myself, I'm annoying, but it's so good. It's literally like an adult jogger shrunk down. They like did not skimp on anything just because it's for a child. Um, yeah, it's got a little zipper down here at the ankle. And lastly, they sent, these little joggers which these are cute like I don't know I almost feel like you could like dress these up how cute are those they've got like a little like seam detail going on there and here it's like a little pocket in the back they're so stretchy and like thick the fabric is just no joke it's got a little moody tiger down on the leg drawstring waist which is functioning that's amazing 
so cute. Last package that I wanted to open up with you guys is from Vegamore and they are a hair, they're a hair company. I know them as a hair growth company because they started popping up all over my Instagram um, and all over my TikTok and it just adds everywhere and I was like what is this brand and then I saw a lot of people talking about the hair serum that helps your hair helps hair growth and I became like really emotionally invested in the product and then of course all the algorithms came together and they emailed me to work with me and I was like jumping up and down so anyway I am an affiliate with them now I have a coupon code for you guys I believe and this has genuinely been really helping my hair and my hair growth look at this new hair growth and i've been using this for like two months look at that i am like shook i've never had something work that well like i have like actual like hair growth so i've been using the serum i've been using the shampoos those i use like religiously um the other products i just kind of dabble in like here and there when they fit into my routine so i also don't wash my hair every day i wash it like once a week so depending on how often you use the products, you'll probably get even better results, I would assume. It says plant-powered formulas energize your scalp, strengthening your strands, and giving growing hair a healthy boost. Enjoy all the good hair days to come. And I really feel like the first time I used their shampoo and conditioner, it was like the best hair day I had had in a while. So let me just go through some of their products that I love. Um, so they sent over the lash serum. I have been using this. I do really like it. It's a gentle lash serum. So not something that's going to make your upper um, lids like itch or uh, get like inflamed or irritated red anything like that at least I haven't noticed anything like that but after time of using this you see results of hair growth thickness and everything in your lashes this is a brow serum I have yet to use this I might actually give this to my mom because sister doesn't really have brows something I really love is the um, grow scalp detoxifying serum this is something that you put in before you wash your hair and you just kind of like rub it all in and then you leave it in for it says um, massage in for one to two minutes and then leave on scalp for three to five minutes so I usually just hop in the shower and I do like some other stuff and then when five minutes has passed I rinse this out and then wash with shampoo and conditioner and I just love it. I really feel like it gets all the gunk and crap out of my hair from the week. And it's a good detoxifying scalp scrub. Next in here is the Vegamore Grow Dry Shampoo. This is, I think this is the best dry shampoo I've ever used in my life. I can't even believe I'm saying that because I really love dry shampoo and I have a handful that I like a lot. But this one I just love. I think it's so good it leaves zero residue but it gives me volume and it, i have no grease left in my hair when i use this but no residue i don't understand it i don't know it works really great on my hair but something else i really love is their grow hair foam i've gone through um this is just like a little bottle but i completely went through this already and i absolutely love it i love when i get out of the shower and i kind of towel dry my hair i'll take a little bit of this and rub it into my hands and like kind of go at the root and like scrunch my hair up just give it a little bit of body and volume and some hold so that when it is dry and you do add heat there's already something in there to kind of hold whatever style you're trying to achieve this right here is the hair serum so this baby right here is it this is it so it's a little dropper it's like a water like consistency it dries completely down to like absolutely nothing no residue um so you can use it in the morning you can use it at night i like to use it at night and i just kind of go in separate my hair and use the dropper rub it in i go to bed my hair's not greasy it doesn't look any different in the morning yeah, I have all of the benefits of this product, helping my hair grow stronger, longer, all the things. And clearly it's been working because um, that little section is proof. That is where I had most of my hair loss, like postpartum after the kids. And it's just really, really filled that in. The other two products that I absolutely love are the Grow. What, honey? You need to be in your room, baby. I have to something. Okay. Hungry. What? I'm hungry. Go, go grab a piece of cheese. What? You can have cheese, that's it. Okay. Well, I didn't see you in here. You didn't see me? I was working so I was going to say hi that time. Hi. Hi, love you. Go have some cheese and go to bed, please. Love you. I love you. <laughs> he just walks out there my mom's out there. He goes, my mom said I can have some cheese. <laughs> the other two products that I am just obsessed with are their Grow Revitalizing Shampoo, Revitalizing Conditioner. 
dream team right here guys this i am like able to literally go like eight plus days without washing my hair with this shampoo there's something about it that is with my dry shampoo days in between but i usually go i don't know five days and this has prolonged that like three plus days for me so i absolutely love the way my hair feels the way my hair looks the texture of my hair everything when i use these together and consistently and even after the first time of using this my mom and i she was like obsessed she's like i'm ordering that immediately because it just it does something to your hair even like aside from the fact that it helps your hair grow just the way it makes your hair feel. I've like really fell, fallen in love with it. So one that they sent in this PR package is the Scalp Revitalizing Massager. I think I'm just gonna keep this in the package. I'll probably use this as like a giveaway or something, but it's one of those scalp massagers. They already sent me one in my first box, but yeah, it's like a really nice scalp massager. I just keep it in the shower. And then lastly are the Biotin Gummies for hair growth. And these are really good. They taste like candy. Um, they're in a beautiful packaging. Can we just talk about the packaging of all these products actually for a moment? Can we just take a moment for how aesthetically pleasing and beautiful these are with the gold labels? Like, I don't know, this company is doing a lot of things right, but beautiful glass container. Um, it just feels nice and luxurious. I feel like when you spend money on good products, it's very important that they come in good packaging because then it just reminds you of how much you love them and why you love them and why you appreciate them and why you spend your money on those products. And that's just how I feel when I use their stuff is like, I'm just reminded and it makes me happy because their packaging's cute. So anyway, I'll take one of these gummies real quick. No, I'm gonna have one or two. Take one gummy daily. Just one. They're so good. Really excited. I'll leave the links and everything down below for you guys. But I am going to call it a night. I'm afraid this vlog is going to be so long at this point. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys would like to see next. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away